I'm videoing. Just need to see. Uh... So this is the one where there was a lot of wild comb and we've got them in the autumn. They're going to be a bit wild because it's cold and windy. Um, can't blame them for that. So Stuart's just now, we got them in the autumn. There was a lot of wild comb in the box. Uh, they were a rescue hive. Um, so this is, we finally managed to get her up. So now we're going to just check that she's laying all right, that everything looks good. What have we got there, Stuart? We've got eggs and larvae. I can eggs, see larvae, larvae. And eggs, larvae, seal brood. So she is up there. She is laying properly. And we can uh, now put this box at the bottom, queen excluder on top, and put the old box on top of that. And we can sort out the wild comb at some point later. We won't take it away from them yet. There's no point. They've got some nice uh, arcs of stores, but oddly are not putting anything in the super yet. It was a little bit, was there? Right, so that's enough. We don't need to do anything more adventurous than that. Um, and now Stuart will put the Queen Excluder over. We haven't got an eek. He'll put the Queen Excluder over on top of that so the Queen stays in this box. And move this over. You may need my help to do that, in which case I will switch off the video. Let's right. see. Heavy? Right. So we've got to be careful because, of course, she could be on this Queen Excluder. There's a few drones. We knew a few would end up stuck, but that'll be sorted out in a minute. Stuart's having a very careful look. So just to check that the Queen's not there, but he will bang these bees out into that top box. smoking them down because he wants to put the Queen Excluder the wrong way up on there. Most of our Queen Excluders are double-sided. Stuart, there's quite a bit of um, comb you've brought up with that. So, so here's what the issue was. There was this was a, uh, a box which just had a few frames in it. A swarm went in, in the middle of nowhere, really in the middle of nowhere, in a woods. Um, so they've, uh, they've, they've did that, which is lovely from their point of view, but absolutely no good at all from our point of view. Okay. You have to stop. Right, so I'm going to stop videoing now so I can help for the next bit. Yes, as Stuart's just said, the the, the wild comb could be stuck to the floor, this could make an awful mess. We don't know, it might not be. So, right, we've cut a few, off, we cut a bit off the bottom of the wild comb because it didn't, it wouldn't fit, but now we've managed to do it. So what we have now is uh, we've got the old box at the top, the new clean box with the queen in it at the bottom, a super in between. Uh, there's still a bit of uh, work brood in this, but not much. And uh, hopefully now, not very good fit, but uh, we're going to have to smoke those down. That now, that top box can be taken away once everything's fully hatched. <laughs> 